you heard, but we had a crazy ice storm here just a couple of weeks ago. Trees were covered in super thick sheets of ice. It looked amazing, but as a result, it caused tons of trees to fall and a lot of people lost power. Thankfully, we didn't lose our power, but it was pretty intense. So that night of the ice storm, I was actually driving home and I was like, okay, the roads aren't too bad because I guess they've been salted before, but when I pulled into my driveway and I was trying to get into my garage, my car would slide down the driveway every time I accelerated. So I'm like, oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So my car wouldn't come up the driveway. I hopped out of my car and I closed the door. And as I was closing the door, I started sliding down the driveway and I was like, oh no, this isn't good. So then I was kind of like, well, I'll just walk up really carefully. And basically every time I would step up, I would start sliding down. So I was like, you know what? My coat is waterproof. So perhaps I will just lie down on my back on the driveway and I'll use my elbows to push myself up. So I basically lay down on my driveway and it was like one in the morning and it was probably a really weird sight to see because I was sliding up the driveway on my back and as I was coming up the driveway there was this tree covered in icicles and it was so beautiful so I had to take a picture and if you guys have seen my Instagram you kind of know that every picture on my Instagram is either a picture of a tree or a picture of a sunset so uh, a tree covered in icicles what could be beautifuler? So I took a picture of the tree and my head was starting to come up the walkway and my mom was concerned that I was coming up the driveway in this ice storm. So she peeked her head out the front door and she sees my head on the ground in the ice. This is kind of a reaction. Tris, what are you doing on the ground? Are you okay? Have you fallen? Oh my goodness, this ice is just too much. This is too scary. I can't even come rescue you. I don't know what is happening. I'm too scared. Have you broken your leg? Can you get up? Oh no, no. What am I gonna do about this stress? Stress, say something. Just speak. Say something so I know you're alive. So anyways, that was kind of my experience with the ice storm. It was kind of not that crazy. Basically the next day I had to defrost my car with the hair dryer because I couldn't open the doors and there were like sheets of ice covered all over it. It was pretty intense. I've never experienced anything like that. It was kind of cool to experience. So anyways, let me know if you guys have experienced an ice storm and I will see you guys later. Bye! Hey, the door's open and you're standing with like a bunch of people and you get on the train. No, you can't get on the train because the train comes full. So you're trying to get on the train and you step in and the doors start closing on you because you can't get in because there are too many people on the train and then you have to jump out while the doors are about to close on you on your